guys, Big Mike here. Today we're going to do a walkthrough or a truck tour of my 2017 Freightliner Cascadia Evolution. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, like up this video. Go ahead and start with the front on here. I got my chromed out grill, my green Cascadia letters, my deer guard. Pretty badass. Brian puts them on all their trucks. Appreciate it. I don't have the upgraded headlights, I have the standard headlights. I do got the spotlights, which help big time at night. Got the fill the tank. Comes with the Thermo King Tri Pack Evolution. Low bars, ready for winter. Got my scraper, brush, squeegee, my broom, and there's also a funnel in there. Got my gross fifth wheel. It's not the greaseless, it's nice and greasy and messy. Take you on the inside. What we got on the inside? Oh, this one still has the def down below. Inside there. Does not have keyless entry. Use your keys. Oh gosh, whose shoes are those? I guess this truck comes with a pair of shoes. <laughs> got our permits in the door. Got our seat covers. This truck does come with heated and cooling in the seats. Pretty awesome. It's an automatic. Two pedals. One for adjusting the steering wheel. Shut the top. I like that. Got the phone holder here. Keep my phone there. Put the GPS up top. Got the Duran tire monitoring system. The right way load scale. I love that. We have our oh so great Qualcomm. <laughs> this device here is our, our radar. Let's us know when we're too close. The vehicle in front of us. Got some storage bins there. Keep my pins, whatnot. Got my truck stop book up here. Use that quite often. Find somewhere to stay the night. Got. I got my bags, I think I'm gonna put those somewhere else. Bags and uh, more bags. I got a couple storage pens up top. Keep my window clean handy. Use the, I believe this is the chemical guy. Glass cleaner. Yeah, chemical guys. I got this off Amazon. You guys can find a link in the description for any of the products that I mentioned. I'll try to find them on Amazon and link you to them if you'd like to check them out or price it out, whichever. The 2017, or at least mine, comes with the front cab window curtains, which I love because I don't always just want to close my back cab curtains. The sleeper curtains, I like to close in the whole front. This AC sometimes is just ripping on the tri pack evolution. All right, for the back, got my TV behind the TV. I have my PS4, 
And I use, uh, there's no light for that. Use that to watch the movies, DVDs, whatnot. Have the truck fridge. Keep it stocked up with the goodies. Wife tries to make me healthy. And I've been eating some of this fruit. I eat that butter. Good stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I like to make grilled cheeses. So we'll use the, the grilled cheese for the butter. Some chick breast. Got some of that steak and cheese burrito. Good stuff. Looks like I got more chicken breast up there. And there's uh, drinks behind all the veggies here. The door. I got the emergency red line. You guys ever get tired on the road? This stuff don't taste good hot, so try to keep it cool. Got a little bit of Bayville going on. Cheese for the mac and cheese. Not mac and cheese, but grilled cheese. We got our microwave here. I have my microwave strapped to the top bunk. I use the bungee cords. I have extra. It's like a cushion there. My light's starting to appear. Let's see, let me get some lighting. We got the truck air controls. When the truck is running, you guys will use these. So heat and cool. We got a power outlet. And then our Thermo King. I guess that Wabasso heater. Got the Wabasso heater in here. One thing I found with the Wabasso heater is it's either too hot or too cold. <laughs> I've never got it just right. Got the vent here. Pretty nice. Got the one storage here. I got this at Walmart. So we got our extra cup holders for the back. Because it does not come with cup holders. Oh, you're probably wondering what this is below the microwave. This I picked up at Ikea. I'll leave a link in the description below of that product because this is awesome. I have this strapped to my bottom bunk. Pretty tight. A little bit tighter. There we go. And this offers me some storage that I would not have otherwise. Pull out bins. See, I got some snacks in there. Keep it loaded down with snacks. Got my sodas and plates. Some more snacks. And I think this one is empty right now. Yeah, that's empty. have a table, a little stand here for when you're eating. There's two of us on the truck. My wife, both my wife and I, here together. I guess I'll go back over here. I got our pantry, got my bread, soups. Keep stocked up on the beef raviolis and gum. This is important stuff, keep your mouth clean. What else we got? Oh, you guys are probably asking, hey Mike, if you have this thing strapped to your bottom bunk, you can't lift up your bunk, can you? You're absolutely right. I cannot lift up my bunk because of this unit here. So, I didn't use any of the storage down below, which there isn't, there isn't really much anyways. We have about, from where these power plugs are at, to about these vents storage and most of that is filled with your air conditioning equipment and heating equipment so I, I did lose out a little, little bit of space but what I gained with this is much more much more 
do have windows over here. It has the pull out desk. Keep my paper. Got tape and other office supplies. A couple of receipts, pens, staples, whatnot. Right there. Down below that, this is, uh, I believe that's some of your air conditioning equipment. It's air intake. It does not open up unless you need to service it. Got our fire extinguisher, whatnot. Thermos holder. Another awesome product I got at Ikea. It hangs on your clothes hanger bar. It's not come with a truck. You purchase this. But not, not from Freightliner. I got this from Ikea. Help buy records, cleaning supplies, whatnot. It has all kinds of little storage. This thing is awesome. Awesome. Before. I was only using maybe this much, maybe this much of my cabinet, and now I can use the entire cabinet. This is awesome. Great investment there. I have some a little bit of storage going on there. Felt pads, zip ties, batteries, cologne, <laughs> and then uh, my trips. Got a receipt folder and. Hey, October's all theme. My trips that I've already completed. I've actually already dumped it once and it was overflowing. And for our top bunk, uh, I know some of you guys can't do this because you're teaming or training or being trained, whatever your case is, but I have another IKEA shelving system. These are not heavy, they are not expensive everything I bought at Ikea was under $200 and the storage capacity is so much better in this truck with this I added in the elastic straps here that's why it kind of looks funny with the staples I do not want the fins flying out and hitting me when I have four wheelers cut me off or when I bump the dock too hard I have uh, extra sheets, some blankets up here, my jacket, keep a sleeping bag on hand, let me pull this out. Under these guys, I just kind of have them tossed in here because I'm about to go back on the road. I have my printer, I keep my printer strapped down, I keep a printer on the truck, scan print whatever documents you need and of course I got that top unit strapped down everything's strapped down real nice and tight hear that tight everything's good and tight I am considering putting a second straps on everything just in case but for now I only have one strap case of water over there. Got your top fence. I got dryer sheets shoved into my top fence. I really love the smell of the dryer sheets. And you have your light control up there for your top bunk. You got some windows and vents going on. You also have a storage below your fridge. I got dog food in mine, but this is really deep. This is also where I keep a pressure cooker and a George Foreman. The pressure cooker also does slow cooking, which is phenomenal. The link in the description below for the pressure cooker is the Instant Pot. It's freaking awesome. I believe you guys will really like that. Oh, you also have below your desk more storage and ours I got the final machine a little bit of laptop action this is the 2017 Cascadia Evolution 
you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I will answer. And I do answer. This is Big Mike with the Big Mike. <laughs>